to my channel Creative Art. I am Nalima and today we are going to make this beautiful decorative and elegant resin tray which you can use in so many different ways from serving to placing decorative candles, your everyday accessories and even jewelry and perfumes on it. So friends, do watch the complete video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video I post every week. Now let's quickly check out all the materials. For this DIY friends, first of all, we are going to need Expo Art Expo Resin. So this come in two bottles. The first one is part A which is a resin and the second one is part B which is a hardener. You have to mix them in a proper ratio to get the exact consistency of a clear resin. And for colors, we are going to use Expo resin art pigments i'm going to use five different colors the first one is hot pink the second one is chrome rose gold third one is ultra white kohinoor gold metallic gel and final one is sandstone so these are the resin art pigments which i'm going to use other than that you can also use acrylic colors or alcohol ink but friends, it is a most preferable and the best to use a resin art pigments for a resin art. Other than that, we are also going to use a few glitters in the resin and we are going to need a few plastic cups, a straw, few ice cream sticks for mixing the resin, an electronic compass scale to weigh the resin and a gas torch. So this is the one I generally use. You can also use a heat gun to blow the bubbles. Other than that, the Expo resin also have auto bubble release formula. So even if you don't have this kind of a blow torch, you can simply wait to all the bubbles to get to the top and pop them out using a heat gun. This time for my base, I'm going to use a wooden tray which looks like this. This one is quite strong and very handy. The dimension is 20 into 32 centimeters. So this is the one I'm going to use. So let's start now friends. All these materials are linked in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them online. So let's start the video now friends. Now first of all friends we will start by preparing our base and for that we need to use either a primer or a gesso. This time I'm going to use a 2-in-1 gesso and a modeling paste from Little Birdie. So using a flat hair brush take some gesso and just prime the entire base you're going to use for your resin art. As this time I'm going to use a wooden tray and I have already done one layer of resin on it. So I won't be doing my priming part but if you are going to do it you definitely need to prime your base before starting the resin art. If your base is a wooden tray like this one or a MDF tray as we have done in our previous video you definitely have to prime and prepare your base before starting your resin art. Now friends let's start by preparing our resin and for that I'm going to use Expo Art Expo Resin which is a art resin and you get in this kind of bottles which is absolutely divided in two parts. So this is a part A and there is a smaller bottle which is part B. So you have to mix and prepare resin in a proper ratio as given according to the brand you are using. So for this brand the mixing ratio is a 3 to 1 ratio. So we need to add three parts of part A which is resin and and one part of part B which is hardener. So before starting the resin art you always have to make sure that you are taking all the safety precautions by wearing hand gloves like this, wearing a face mask which lets you breathe comfortably and you're doing this in a well ventilated area. For example I'm doing this right in front of my open window. I'm going to make a reuse of the scans. So I just have cut off the top opening of the can so that I can use it in my art. So let's tear the scale to zero and start adding the part A which is the part A resin. From one side of the container I'll hold it in this way and start adding 90 grams of resin. As soon as I reach 80 I will slow down. Finally here I have got 
90 grams of resin which is part A. If there is anything extra in your jar just remove it using ice cream stick in this way and let it back into the bottle. Now make sure to close the cap very tightly very nicely so that you can use the rest. According to the calculation friends if you're using three parts of resin you have to use one part of hardener. So if it is 90 grams of resin you're using just divide it by 3 and you get 30 so you have to use 30 grams of hardener so i'm adding it in the same container you can see 90 plus 30 makes 120 so here we have got 120 grams of resin let's just remove just one gram which is making it difficult okay so finally we have got 120 grams now, using an ice cream stick, give both a resin and hardener a very good mix till at least 10 minutes. In the starting, you may notice that it will go translucent, but finally, it will become transparent and release all the bubbles at the top as it has an auto bubble release formula. So, I'm going to mix it in this way till 10 minutes and then we will divide it. Now friends, I have completed mixing my resin and this is how clear it looks. So now I'm going to divide it in five different cans. And I'm going to keep just a little bit of extra for myself if I'm going to need it at the end. Now friends, I'm going to mix the resin art pigments in each of the cups. First of all, I'm going to use ultra white. So you just need to use a little quantity for this okay this much would be enough so here i do want to create a portrait pink color so first of all i will be using just a little bit of a sandstone shade in i think this cup would be good just a little bit because later on i will be mixing white and pink with it next i'm going to use hot pink in this can this is hot pink metallic gel then I'm going to use gold. I just love this pigment. And finally, I'm going to make use of the chrome rose gold pigment. As the metallic pigments are quite heavy, so always remember to use them in less quantity as compared to, to the other colored pigments. Now let's start mixing each of them in this way. Do a very, very nice mix. Okay, what is ready? Let's mix the sand. Okay, this is also ready. Let's mix the copper bronze. Okay, this is ready. Now gold. Mixing pigments in the resin is very important. So you have to give it a very nice mix so that your pigments does not flow down leaving the resin. The better you mix, the better pigment will spread out with the resin now friends after mixing all the five pigments in our resin this is how it looks so now i'm going to create a portrait pink color by mixing a little bit of white in the same sandstone color in this way and then i'll add just a little bit of hot pink color in the same so this will actually give a very light but bright portrait pink color which is just my favorite and i do want this color for this tray so this is the color we have got now friends as all our pigments are ready so let's start pouring it on our tray so make sure that a tray is clean so i'll just give it a give it a wipe out if there is anything left so let's just remove it oh Okay, so our train is absolutely clean. Let's start pouring from one side. First, I'll start by using a rose gold gel. I'll just make a corner in this way. So this will help the flow where I want to make it. Okay, it's perfect. Next, I want to place white. Each time before pouring the resin, I just like to give it a nice mix and make a corner insertion in this way 
Now I'll mix the portrait pink we have made nicely, very nice mix. And then let's pour it on one side in this. Let's just scoop out all the portrait pink, what is remaining. Now let's start by using hot pink, which is the main, main color for this tray. I'm going to pour hot pink here. Now we have just one color remaining with us, which is chrome gold. And I'm, and I'm not going to pour it completely because I will be pouring it only in the empty parts you see. You can clearly see as the hot pink color, which is a metallic color, is heavy. So the other colors are taking it over. So the metallic colors are the last to be poured. Let's start from this place. Now this is the final step where you can use either a blow gun, a heat gun or a torch or an ice cream stick to spread out all the resin from one side. I'm just going to use a straw to do this part. You can also simply just move the tray a little bit. All the gaps did meet. Let's just blow a few colors out. looks very beautiful now let's add some remaining colors that we have is a bronze so as I have shown you in the starting of, of my video that I'm surely going to add some glitters in my painting so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add few glitters in the remaining white and bronze and I think hot pink is really beautiful so let's add some colors so now friends, I'm going to add copper color glitters in my chrome gold resin, add enough amount so that the complete glitters may get mixed up with the resin. Next, I'm going to add the fairy dust white, snow white glitters in my white color resin in this way. And then finally, a hot pink color glitters in my hot pink color resin. So now friends, here is our hot pink resin with hot pink glitters in it using uh, and I and I'm going to add it on the hot pink color just making few lines in this way. Just a little quantity would be enough. Just give it some time and it will start mixing. So don't worry if there are any lumps you can notice. I did try mixing up the snow dust in the snow white resin but it absolutely gets mixed up so I'm not going to use that shade. Let's just use the hot pink and the bronze we have made. So here's the bronze. Let's start from the bronze. So I think these two colors are fantastic. Let's blow and mix them just a little bit. This is just perfect. Now let's pop out all the bubbles we don't need by using a gas torch. So let's light it up. Use the slightest flame you can use. And then go all over in this way. Be very gentle and light on the resin. You don't want to burn any of your pigments or glitters we have used. This much is enough. So now I've let it get dry. Cover the whole thing up using a polythene or a cover so that it may not get any kind of dust. And then I'll show it to you after 24 hours. Now this is how I have covered my resin tray. Let's lift out the cover. And finally, after 24 hours, let's check that is our resin dry. So yes, the resin tray has got dried up completely and this is how beautiful it looks. So you can clearly observe the gold and bronze color which are the metallic colors was heavy so it went down but the glittering effect is still present and there is some bronze part over here but 
gold is totally not visible but i'm still happy with the outcome i have got here so now friends i'm going to show you one exclusive trick which you can do on any surface in the beginning i thought i'll keep the wooden tray as it is because i love the wood finishing and the natural look it gives but as i have done resin art twice on this tray i did got few stains on each side of my wooden tray so i'm thinking to do a gold foiling all over the wooden part that is visible and that will give me this kind of beautiful gold effect on my complete tray so let's begin the process for this part friends we are going to need a mod podge and artificial gold foil and 24 karat pure gold foil this is a complete optional process so this is how our gold foil looks you can also just use a gold acrylic color and color all over the wood i'm going to give it a gold plating using this gold foil so first of all i'll tilt my tray in this way i have taken mod podge in my palette and using a flat hair brush i'm going to apply mod podge on the base where i'm going to apply the gold foil in this way i let it set for a few minutes just two to three minutes when you see that the wood has started absorbing the mod podge let's start placing the gold foil so here you can see this is my piece on the back side of which there is a paper let me show you from this side i'll gently hold my gold foil in this way and then start placing it on the wooden surface okay now this is the only time where you can make any corrections and then fold it then fold it so now our gold foil is placed exactly just give it very very gentle tapping okay now let's place the next piece be very very gentle okay give it the folding and then from this side okay, now remove the paper so you can see this was a really very e very easy process if you do it systematically the foil will be applied smoothly like this now we just have to place a very small piece for the spot so i do have few cutouts now let's do the same on the other side first place a lot of mod podge using a flat hair brush smooth it place it on the inside also let it set for one minute at least and then let's start by placing gold foil from one side gently give it a press in this way then fold it from the front fold it from the back be gentle and then easily remove the excess paper okay now let's place for this side let's place the next sheet gently fold it from the back fold it from the front and then gently remove the excess white sheet it looks so beautiful just a little space remaining here so let's use a small piece which i have already cut and then fold it in this way remove it and perfect so in the same way friends you have to also apply gold foil from the inner side so i let it get dry for a few minutes and then show you the complete look of this tray 
Now friends, I have finally completed placing gold foil all over the wooden part and this is how beautiful our resin tray looks from all the sides. As you know, the gold foiling is quite delicate so we do have to protect it by using one layer of clear resin all over the surface base and using a paintbrush also apply it on the inner side on the top of the golden foil we have placed and then let it get dry for 24 hours and that's the only way how you can make a daily use of this beautiful tray in your daily life and once you have done that process your tray will be scratch proof any stain proof and you can use this tray in so many multiple ways as the clear resin coating will make this tray stain free and waterproof so friends in the same way you can also make resin coasters and pair them up with this beautiful tray you can use this tray for not only serving but as a multi-purpose tray you can also place some decorative candles or flowers on it and use it as a center table tray to place keys or any important things you need to find right on time the same friends i have placed my everyday accessories my favorite perfume and jewelry on this tray and place it right on my table so that i make the right use of it so friends do tell me in the comments below how did you like my video friends and if you do like my videos please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching